Hey folks, back with a follow-up video to my previous video where I used a Super Synthesis VCA's module to achieve an audio ducking effect. We're going to do it this time with two slightly more common types of VCA's. We have one here that gives us control over the signal input level. It gives us control over the gain, so it kind of you can act as a mixer as well. And gives us control over the amount of CV being applied and controlling the volume of the input signal. And then we have another VCA over here that's attached to this dope for LFO. All it has is signal input, signal output, and control voltage input. Um, we will need some utilities this time around. Uh, we'll need a tenu version for this VCA, and we'll need voltage offset and attenue version for this VCA. Uh, I don't have those separately, but I do have them all in a maths. So let's get started here and um, just refresh ourselves really quickly about what the audio ducking effect is. Um, basically, we want uh, the audio signal at like a at a high volume, and then we want a control voltage being applied negatively. Uh, to the audio signal. So full volume audio signal and that control voltage is like sucking away the uh, the volume. So we'll start with, uh, we'll use channel one of the maths as we did before, but we're actually going to use the channel one output because that gives us uh, this attenuverting control. So it's, uh, it's just at noon. We're going to patch this out into our control voltage input, control the amplitude of this signal. Here's typical VT VCA usage. The, the volume of the signal is down completely, and this control voltage is opening up the amplifier. But what we want to do, of course, is we're going to turn up the gain so we have that audio signal passing through. And now we simply invert that control voltage And now we have that side chain audio ducking style effect. Um, this attenuverter becomes our intensity control for the effect, for the amount of the effect. So we turn it up higher, we get less until it's barely perceptible. And we can turn it down further and we'll get more of that effect. simple straightforward uh, hopefully hopefully that makes sense and I'm explaining it well um, and then we'll move over here to uh, this VCA which gives us like very little control the idea being that the amplifier is completely closed um, you give it an audio signal uh, you can of course send control voltage in as well but send a signal in and uh, it's completely closed the control voltage opens it up and uh, outputs the signal. So I, I do have, um, because of some normalization that happens here, I, I already have maths plugged in so that the VCA is closed for us. So let's take our audio signal and plug it in here. And uh, we'll take the output out to our mixer. So nothing's happening because uh, right now the VCA is just closed and we have no uh, voltage being applied. Now before we were using channel one of the maths, we were using that attenuverter. Um, we're going to do it a little differently this time. We're going to use the sum output of maths. We're going to use channel two as a voltage offset because remember we want that VCA to be open and then we're going to uh, we're going to invert the control voltage that's controlling the volume. So Let's open up the VCA with just this voltage offset. This basically becomes a, a mixer control. It's basically our gain control like we had uh, before. So we'll turn that up so that the VCA is open. And we've still got our envelope going on channel one. So we just use that same control again. And it's our intensity control for the ducking effect. And uh, 
yeah, hopefully that's useful. I know that Dopefer actually makes um, a VCA module. It's a quad VCA, and it's basically this setup. There's uh, there are no knobs on it. It's just four VCAs uh, with this with this signal input, output, and control voltage input. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, you know, the the previous video I was using kind of a, a unique VCA. Uh, at least I think so. That's why I bought it. It's kind of cool. Um, those are two more common types of VCAs uh, to achieve that effect. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you got a little something out of it. Um, I'm doing these as I learn. <laughs> so just kind of a way for me to learn and uh, share that with you. If you know of other ways to achieve this and maybe even simpler ways to achieve it, go ahead and talk it out uh, below because uh, that could be cool. I don't know if this is too convoluted. It's fairly straightforward, but maybe there are other ways to do it. Maybe there are easier ways to do it. So, uh, yeah, let me know. Let us all know. <laughs>